It's a night thousands of loyal fans have been waiting all summer for. The voice of a generation, one of the biggest names in music history, is hitting the stage at the Lloyd Minster exhibition tonight. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. People from all across the country are here in the border city to see the legendary Bob Dylan. We had orders from Calgary, Regina, Edmonton, British Columbia, Ontario, and even two people from the states, North Dakota and California. For those fans still looking to get in on the action, there are still some tickets available at the door. Organizers assure it will be an up close and personal performance. If you're seating in the grandstand, you're about 100 feet away from the stage. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have those standing seats, you're going to see all the actions. And seating is first come, first serve. Doors open at 7 o'clock tonight, and Dylan hits the stage at 8. The beer gardens are already open. Service Credit Union and Race the Base teamed up for a barbecue today, raising money for the Lloydminster Men's Shelter. We thought that there's uh, there's so many needy uh, organizations in Lloyd that uh, the men's shelter, you know, we wanted to make sure that uh, it's getting its support as well. Mike Faber of Service Credit Union says he feels the men's shelter is always in need of help and the barbecue is a perfect fit. Raffling off uh, a 30-minute ride, the owner of the car has agreed to donate a 30-minute ride around town, so you get to experience that firsthand. All proceeds will be given to the men's shelter and the 2012 Race the Base is on August 24th to 25th at the CFB Cold Lake. Well, this weekend is packed with lots of local events. You can celebrate the border city's heritage and take in one of the biggest parties in town in Paradise Hill. Lloyd FM's Heather Clagus has all the details on this week's What's Happening. This weekend, you've got a chance to celebrate Lloyd Minster's roots at Bar Colony Heritage Day. Get the whole family together on Saturday, head out to the Bar Colony Heritage Cultural Centre where they will have something for everybody. They're going to have different games going on throughout the day. They'll have live music and lots of different demonstrations as well. It's a chance for you to see uh, how a blacksmith used to do their work. There will be rope making, there will be a threshing bee, and you never know, you might even get to see one of these looms in action. Things start off. 8.30 Saturday morning with a pancake breakfast, so take the family out to the Bar Colony Heritage Cultural Center. Gas up the car this weekend and head out to Paradise Hill for one of the biggest parties of the summer. It's their annual summer bash coming up on Saturday night, and you've got a chance to see Aaron Perchett live in concert. I know you know his music, you love his music. He's got that song, Hold My Beer, Let's Get Rowdy, other great party songs, and you've got a chance to see him live Saturday night in Paradise Hill. Tickets will be $50 at the door. If you pick them up in advance at Paradise Hill Farm Supply, they're only $40. It's going to be a great summer bash out in Paradise Hill. Just checking out a few of the classics that they've got here at the Bar Colony Heritage Cultural Centre and you've got a chance to check out new music from a classic Canadian rock band this weekend. Rush has a new album out. It's been a while since we've heard new music from them but if you want a copy all you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontests at newcap.ca. We want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for setting us up with the music. These are just a few of the antique tractors that you'll be able to see at the Bar Colony Heritage Cultural Centre on Saturday. And in Frenchman Butte, they're hosting their annual museum festival on Sunday. It's a great weekend for you to reminisce, to travel back in time. If you're headed out to Frenchman Butte, things get underway at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Cleggis, and that's what's happening. Driving east along Highway 16, a long stretch of birdhouses may have caught your eye. They're made by a local man out in Wasika. He's been in the bird box making business for years now and having raised over $100,000 for charities. Kelsey Bloxham has all the details. So we got the base built. Bruce McFadden has been at this for so long he doesn't even really know when it all started. Let's just say 10 years plus. He has building these bird boxes down to a science. 
No measurements needed. When you build six a day, it don't take long to get a lot built. It's more difficult to find a place to put them up. Made almost completely out of recycled materials, Bruce says he's a regular dumpster diver. And over the years, his hobby has raised almost $120,000 for various charities. But uh, that's nothing to what we're going to do when we sell uh, the big number for a SARS ambulance. Close to making box number 12,000, Bruce's sites are set on selling 1,000 bird boxes for $100 each, all going to the Stars Ambulance branch in Saskatoon. There's so many places in the north where there's mining and, uh, and uh, oil development and that, and if you were injured there, you'd, you'd need that uh, service to have a hope of, uh, of making it. $100 for one of Bruce's bird boxes could be considered a steal. Some have sold for $700 plus, all for charity. The 10,000 numbered birdhouse sold and the money went to the suites at Maidstone and it brought $5,000. That's the highest price. Enough boxes are made at this point. Now all Bruce needs is a thousand buyers to make his dream come alive just like the bluebirds and swallows who nest here. Kelsey Bloxham, New Cap News.